What's up, YouTube? This is True Raw 4 TV. So before I get into this video, I want to give a big shout out to JJ Phantom for the $10 donation via the Cash App, all right? I want to say this. Um, I saw your note. I thought that I shouted you out um, in a video a couple days ago when I saw your other um, donation. I might have missed it. I might have forgotten, um, so I, you know it's a possibility I may have forgotten to say it, your name in a video. And for that, if I did, I apologize. I'm also not sure whether or not you only subscribe to one of my channels. Um, if in case you are, um, I have two channels: Two Raw for TV and Two Raw for Sports. So sometimes I shout out people from each channel. You know, I make the assumption that my subscribers are subscribed to both channels. But if you're not, you know, if, um, you know, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to shout you out on this channel, and I'm going to shout you out again on my other channel, Too Raw for Sports, just in case you're subscribed to that channel. But much respect to JJ Phantom for showing love to the channel. And to anybody who want to show love to this channel, you can do so in the links in the description box below via the PayPal or the Cash App, or in the pinned comment in the comment section below. Now, Draymond Green has pissed a lot of people off, in particular Chicago Bulls fans of the 1990s. Now, this is what gets me about Draymond Green, right? He often rails about dumbed-down basketball analysis, right? Um, saying that a lot of people have these stupid hot takes and comparing teams from different eras and how dumb it is to do that. Um, you know, it, it's stupid to compare teams and things of that nature, which to an extent I truly do agree with that. I understand why people do it. It's fun. Um when you don't take it seriously, it's fun. It, it causes you to, to think deeper uh, when you really have to think about it. But it is stupid. But he says this, but then on his Twitter, he does exactly what he says is stupid. So I'll put a link to this article in the pinned comment below, right? He says on Twitter, quote, I'm watching the 98 Bulls versus Utah in the finals. I can't help but notice our 2017 team would have beaten these Bulls by a dub, 20, and these Jazz by 40 if they're going to play these brands of basketball. And that's why it's dumb to compare errors. Now, when you say play these brands of basketball, is he talking about the way they played basketball back in the 90s? Or is he talking about putting them magically in today's era? Because if you're talking about putting them magically in today's era, um, yeah, absolutely. I can agree with that. But this is the thing, though. This is the thing, y'all. You're comparing a super team to the weakest Bulls team that won a title. You're comparing <clears throat> a super team okay to a team that was not even favored to win that NBA Finals. And I know because I watched it. Everyone talks about how the Bulls always were heavily favored in these finals. That's not true. The Bulls were not favored to win in 91. People thought that was going to be an even matchup. People thought that Magic Johnson's experience was going to supersede Jordan's youth and, and athletic ability and prowess. And that, that was, they were going to be able to eat the Bulls. I would say in 92, people gave the Bulls an advantage over... Uh, Drexler in Portland, but it wasn't going to be any 
full sweep. In 93, Phoenix had the advantage. People thought Phoenix was going to beat Chicago. Now, I will, I will say in 96, the Bulls were heavily uh, favored. In 97, they were slightly favored over J the Utah Jazz. But in 98, <clears throat> people thought Utah had the advantage. As a matter of fact, Utah won the first game of that series. Uh, but the 98 Bulls were the weakest incarnation of that dynasty. Michael Jordan was 35 years old and displaying obvious signs of diminished uh, athletic ability. Um, he had his worst season ever as a Chicago Bull, um, as a full-time uh, player. Scottie Pippen was seriously declining as a player. Rodman was starting to check out mentally. Um, the bench was sort of thin. They were inconsistent. Uh, I remember Tuco, Kuko, excuse me, had some severe struggles shooting the basketball during that entire postseason. I mean, severe struggles. Even Steve Kerr, by his standards, had a subpar season. I think he shot 40% from three, which is sounds phenomenal, but the two years prior, Steve Kerr was like around 50% shooting from three. Uh, so, yeah, that Bulls team was was old. They were truly old. Jordan was 35. Pippen was 32. Harper was 34. Robin was 37. So you put that team in today's basketball era, they would struggle. They would most definitely struggle. The thing is, that Bulls team, that roster was constructed for that particular era a half court brand of basketball position basketball the Bulls had advantages at that time because they were more of a team relying on his defense all right Harper and Jordan were a big backcourt whose size uh, and length were attributes because people could still play defense back then. You could still be physical. You can't be physical today. So that doesn't give them any advantage. And they are not shooters, especially Ron Harper. So Ron Harper would not even be playing today, uh, especially that version, who's just a defensive stopper. Randy Brown, people forget about him, come off the bench. He was a high-energy uh, you know, defensive guy. Would be playing today because of the way the league is, is constructed. So that roster was constructed for that era. This team is constructed for this era, uh, these teams today. I will say this, though. If you take the non-super teams, let's say the Warriors just won a championship, and you take that roster and put it uh, magically in the 90s, under the 90s rules, and they had to play the 96 Bulls, I think the 96 Bulls would beat them by 20, okay? Um, people forget, for all of the Michael can't shoot shit, Michael shot damn near 50% from the floor that year, 43% from three, 83% from the foul line. All right? Um, Scottie Pippen had a super season. That was the last year that Scottie Pippen was in his prime. Uh, 19 points, 7 rebounds, 5.5 assists. Robin leading the league in rebounding. Um, the problem I see with the Warriors is that they're not going to just be living around, living on the three-point line because of the way basketball was played back then. Um, teams just weren't... You, like this. The Bulls would have ran those guys off the line. They would have ran them off their comfort zone and they wouldn't have had the looks that they have today because of the way the game was played. And also, Pippen would have been picking up um, like Steph Curry from beyond half court. You know, the game was just different. It would have been slowed down. Um, 
all those uncontested layups and dunks that guys get today, you wouldn't be having that now. Okay? Trash talking. Um, it would be a it would be a good game and a good series, but I think the Bulls would have contained Curry for four out of six games, Clay for five out of six games. Um Draymond wouldn't even be fucking playing in that league because the special position he got today, uh, it wouldn't have worked back then because it was position basketball. He was too fucking small to to uh, be a power forward or a center. He's too fucking small. 6'5", 240, it's too fucking small. And he's too slow to be a perimeter, uh, at least a starter in the league and guarding him by the perimeter. So, uh, and plus, that league, the late 90s, early 2000s, that league was more predicated on athleticism than shooting. So, I mean, you had to really have a burst of speed to be able to get through the gaps because the spacing wasn't the same. That's why athleticism was so important in that era. Doesn't you know you don't have to be athletic you know in this era to still be able to get to the cup. Back then you had to be more athletic. That's why it was more of a premium on, uh, you know, drafting players who were great athletes and they thought that they could just make them uh, into be- into great basketball players. But that doesn't work most of the time, as we have found out. But anyway, what Draymond Green said is fucked up bullshit. And he's a fucking hypocrite. But anyway, tell me what you guys think.